In navigation, the bearing of an object is the horizontal angle between the direction of the object and another reference object. The reference object could be the true north pole or the magnetic north pole, for true or compass bearings. It could be the angle between the object and the bow of your boat for relative bearings. It could be the angle between the object and what the gyro or radar thinks is north for gyro and radar bearings. Only true bearings can be accurately plotted on nautical charts. This is one of the reasons navigators should be obsessed with compass error. We know we have to constantly check if there are differences between the output of devices used for taking bearings and true north. A handheld compass helps the navigator to take bearings of distant objects that you can be corrected to true and plotted on a nautical chart to create position lines. There is always a compass at the steering position. On small vessels that is likely to be the only compass. On larger vessel there might be repeater compasses away from the steering position, for example, on the bridge wings. The bearing repeater compass is equipped with a 360 degrees compass card and a digital display for heading indication. A fixed 360 degrees scale on the outer ring allows relative bearings to be taken. When two charted objects appear in line from the vessel and a bearing is taken of the objects that is called a transit bearing. The transit bearing plotted on a chart is a position line. Compass error can be obtained by comparing transit compass bearing and true bearing from the chart. When navigating close to shore. The underwater dangers are invisible to the eye but shown on the charts. Operating a boat close to hidden dangers is stressful. Having the skills to keep the vessel in safe water and clear of dangers is useful. Danger or clearing bearings are bearings that keep you clear of any nearby hazards. Traditionally, you use a prominent mark on the chart that you will be able to identify at a reasonable range. Draw a line on the chart from the mark along the safe side of any dangers en route. Visual fixes, with carefully observed position lines, are very accurate. Unfortunately, it is the least practiced position fixing method in spite of being accurate. All it requires is a visual target and compass for taking its bearing. When there are two charted objects visible from the ship, the bearings of the two objects can give a position fix for the ship. For a greater fix accuracy, the angle between the two bearing position lines should be neither too narrow nor too wide. Some navigators consider a separation angle around 45 degrees being ideal. Bearings of two charted objects are taken as simultaneously as possible and the time noted. The bearings are corrected for errors as appropriate. The true bearings are plotted from the objects on the chart. The point where the two bearing position lines intersect is the ship's probable position. A navigator off the north coast of Trinidad takes three quick visual bearings of charted lights and corrects the bearings for compass error. The bearing of petite metalot pointy light is 184 degrees true. The bearing of gala point light is 137 degrees true. The bearing of a light on the other side of the galleon's passage is 070 degrees true. On paper charts, navigators do not usually draw parts of the position line that they are not going to need. Also, it is uncommon for the position lines to intersect perfectly. When compass bearings are taken of three marks when navigating, it is unlikely that the three position lines will meet at one point, instead forming a triangle known as a cocked hat or three-point fix. Some of the common errors in laying off bearing position lines a mismatch between what you took a bearing of and where you were plotting the line from. If you use the compass to take the bearing, there might be an error in the conversion from magnetic to true. A good guide to accuracy is the size of the cocked hat, the smaller the more accurate the plot. Whilst it is possible that the vessel could be inside the cocked hat, it may also be outside of it. Most navigators assume they are in the center of the triangle provided it is not too large and there are no hazards nearby. If your fix results in a large cocked hat, it is probably better to try again, perhaps by using different features.